Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. During a recent live stream I decided to try to fly through Tropical Storm Marco and Hurricane Laura to see what the storm effects would be like because after all I had previously seen the storm effects in a preset storm but we now have some real-time weather to look at so I decided to check it out and here I am in my little TBM 930 and there is a lot of clouds but I discovered something disturbing now, there's been a lot of good things about this program, but there have been some flaws and I encountered a major flaw when trying to fly through the hurricane. You can see the map there and obviously we have a lot of clouds. What we don't have is wind. We don't have any wind. Well, maybe two knots. I could tell by the difference between my ground speed and my true airspeed in the bottom right hand corner of the multifunction display in the front. And it was consistent. I never got more than three knots of wind and despite flying right through the middle. Surely there should be wind here. I mean, there's no question about it. I tried various altitudes, no difference. Other people have had this problem. I looked on the forums and someone suggested that it was on the subsequent flights, not the first flight that when you start the flight simulator, but I think this was my first flight. I just wanted to get into flying to the storms. So I don't know about that. Now, another problem that people have been having, this is like my, now my number one problem that I want to see fixed. Obviously, with the real-time weather, you can still get wind with uh, pre-baked weather. It's just real-time weather that uh, doesn't seem to come with wind for me, at least. Uh, but another problem that people need fix is the installation problems. And one thing I should mention is that the way I fixed it for myself to install an update was to... I managed to get through the content manager sort of accidentally and set my data usage to unlimited. If you limit your data usage, it seems to cause problems for Content Manager, at least for me it did. So I would warn against touching the data usage thing. Keep it on unlimited, it doesn't use that much bandwidth anyway. At least in my experience with high visual settings and quite a lot of flying. Now after my disappointment with the tropical storm, I decided to head to Key West to land, but I was very low on fuel and I discovered a realism feature. Uh, to the program that I didn't realize was there and that's that it has there's a unusable amount of fuel in the tanks I'm about to discover that right now so five gallons in each tank is unusable and let's go to my original commentary for this uh, we've had an oil pressure um, okay uh oh What? Gallons per hour, zero. I guess that solves that problem. Yeah, it's basically windmilling. Well, that sucks. Apparently our last five gallons are not useful. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there a way of starting this thing? Just to, Maybe it just needs, it needs to be restarted. I tried to restart the engine, but that didn't work. Uh, the fuel was unusable. I think I would have reached Key West if I had been able to use the fuel, but I can't be sure. And so I set about preparing for a splashdown, and we would test whether we could do a miracle on the Hudson sort of situation, I guess. But I decided that if I was going to do this, I would try it in daylight. So I'm going to change the time here to daylight again, because I didn't want to do it at night. So yeah. Let's see how the splashdown worked or didn't work. Now we know that the Icon A5 can land in water. The question is whether anything else can. Oh, that's a lot more lift than I want. Well, I have a lot of experience splashing down in the water, but as gentle as I made that, I collided, it didn't even say I collided with the water, it said I collided with an object and caused critical damage to the aircraft. I'm going to guess 
that this means that we cannot do a miracle on the Hudson splashdown unless we change the configuration of an aircraft to make it like the Icon A5. Somebody also suggested turning off crashes or using other cheats, but I'm definitely not going with that. We shouldn't have to use cheats, but then there's a low priority thing recreating the miracle on the Hudson. I'm much more interested in the real-time weather working properly. And I've heard that it works properly for some people and maybe it does on a new startup with the first flight. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, so there are things that need to be fixed and that's high on my list right now. But anyway, with that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.